In this whiteboard, we're going to take a look at lead and lag indicators to understand what they mean for your management system, but most importantly, what they mean in terms of driving improvement and change in your organization. In this table, there are some real world examples of lag versus lead. Each of them has been paired up to demonstrate the relationship of the different thinking we can place when designing lag and lead indicators. A lag indicator will typically be a metric or an output from a single function where a lead indicator is what we deem as being mutually supportive and encourages multiple functions to work together to change an outcome. This diagram is a simple way to consider lag versus lead. In the center of the diagram, we have a clock or a timer, and that is really indicating now, in the current moment. To the left of the clock, we are looking back to the past. These are our lag indicators. On the right hand side, towards our future, we've got lead indicators. There is no correct answer as to how many lead or lag indicators one requires for an organization or a management system. But it is important to get the correct balance because you do need to look in both directions to be able to make informed improvement decisions. In this slide, we're considering the perspective of working on the business versus working in the business. Above the line, we're focusing on lead indicators, whereas below the line, we're looking at lag indicators, or in particular, a focus on what has been produced by operations. Another way to consider lead and lag indicators is to associate lead with strategic outcomes, and of course, lag with operational metrics or outcomes. A final perspective of lead and lag indicators is to look at it whereas customer is really interested in lead indicators. What improvements can we do for them? What costs down or revenue up or what value creation can we generate in our changing our thinking? Whereas internally, we come back to the lag because we're ensuring that what we say we will do, we shall do. And this is very much the focus of assurance and control.